don't I make it a point to I want I want you to understand that you're going to have your fun. You're going to have your fun. I don't want you to think you're not going to have your fun. But number one, you're not going to think what I think, Mooski, because we're not peers. You're not supposed to think like me because you're I learned a lot. Peers. I learned a lot from you, bro. Like, like I just gave him my apartment. I'm living on the truck for about two years, bro. I'm trying to stack a lot of money, bro. Like, right. I don't, like, all them designer shoes I got, bro, that's two years old, bro. Like, I didn't been did that. I'm 26, bro. Like, I don't buy that stuff no more. I just had a kid last year, bro. I don't buy none of that stuff no more. All that stuff y'all seen, that's two years old, bro. Like, man, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You done had a kid? Yeah, I had a kid, bro. Like, oh no, the conversation changes, news. You know, this conversation just changed up now. Man, bro, y'all like everybody on Instagram think that stuff new, bro. I best stop buying design. That stuff don't mean nothing to me, bro. I feel like, you, bro. Do you comprehend old. what I'm saying? That's the problem bro, I have with people. Your I age. comprehend everything you're saying, but it's hard to do that through the chat. You know what I'm saying, like, I listen a lot, bro. Like, I learn a lot from you. you know what I'm saying, like, I do, bro. Right. Uh, it might it might look like I'm hard headed. I'm not hard headed. I'm not stupid, bro. No, what you are is a no con- what you are is a conversational contrarian. That's what you are. And a lot of people are. Y'all yeah, get, get off on being the opposite of whatever someone is saying. No, but I really think like that, man. I really think like all people most people too, not ninety nine percent. Like that ain't just trying to be on the opposite. I really think it. And yeah. I probably could prove it. Yeah. I mean, it's it, like you said, you can't, you, you can't, you don't know what no one's doing. So there's no way to prove it. You don't know yes. what they're doing. How are you going to prove it? I know. No, I'm saying go on internet. Ask the woman, bro. The woman will tell you that most of you. Okay. I ain't got to tell you true. this. Internet is not a representation of the population. But I'm saying, even my sister, she got cheated on. My mother, she got cheated on. Like, come okay. on. This my personal life. I feel too. you, but that's that's not enough. But okay, it, it's listen, it's not enough for you to cite for ninety nine percent of the world. That's not enough people, bro. Your mom not, got cheated on. Your sister got cheated on. There is three hundred million people in America, bro. That doesn't. That's not a drop in the bucket. And check this out: the the black community is a bunch of baby dads, baby mamas. That's not monogamy, bro. Having two, three, five baby baby mm-hmm. mamas is, is not monogamy. Right, right. But the people you're on the phone with don't have two, six, seven baby mamas. I don't have two baby mamas. Bill doesn't have I, two baby mamas. But that don't mean you're, you're monogamous. You probably are now after a year of being a damn hoe. I mean, oh, it was I mean, definitely more than one again. year of hoeing. That's true. But like that's I tell saying, you, but peep game, that's when you're young. When I was 26 in your age, I'm not going to say I felt like you. I'm saying that I talked to a lot of women, yes. But what you're supposed to be understanding is that time comes to an end. You're supposed to stop doing that at some point. I mean, probably, but I know old men who get in too, bro. They I they, they gonna stop working. I feel you, and that act. I'm telling you, that act is shameful. Just because they're doing it, don't make it right. And that's true. Like, like I'm 26, and like I used to be all in a woman, bro. I don't care about women no more, bro. Like, on that since like one time, two, three times a month, bro. Like, I've been like, really getting money. <laughs> you only had sex two, three times a month. I don't masturbate no more. I used to masturbate every day. Too much information, but like I used to do no. shit every day, bro. Semen retention like, is a good conversation. It's a way. It's a I, way for people to understand to have control over their sexuality. I agree, yeah, like, but what I'm telling that, you, what I'm telling you is, ten years from now, the last I was 26 when I got my license. Ten right. years from now, you will feel completely different. I'm just explaining that to you. Number one, you're not gonna want to sit in that seat. For that much longer after 10 years nah, first, that's right. right now you feel good look at you you feel good your back is good you're chilling your health is right your skin is clear right. you haven't had testicular torsion yet that comes from getting in and out of that seat eventually your lower back you're losing lower back muscles you're not going to feel the same way bro you're going to feel different and what we're trying to prepare you for is when the difference comes, you won't be confused, bro. Yeah, TV, I took your advice. You started you start talking about mom, I'm like, man, that's true. I gave him my apartment. I told my baby mama, hey, I'm, I'm going to be there on the weekends. And I'm gonna, I said my baby mama, like, 600 months of child support, but like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no, I live on my apartment. I don't buy no designers. I'm about to go like two, three years and be living out of the truck. Most, like, no money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know what? You know what's going to change your mind? What? And I want you to remember this. Remember this saying that I'm about to give you. A capable, honest woman. And right now you're in a position where you hardly believe that shit exists. But the truth is, it does exist. And when you get a decent example of this, you're not going to feel that way. Nah, bro. My baby mama, she's the best woman ever. She, she the best she cheated she's cheated on her. Yes, I did. She's an RN. She's a great mm-hmm. She could clean. Right. Bro, so why did you cheat on her? It's too many beautiful women out here, man. It's so crazy. let me get this right. You said she's perfect. <laughs> she cooks she cleans. Perfect. She uh, has a decent job. But okay. you were weak in your sexuality and you fuck somebody else. Or, or that's just my nature. No, nigga. No, no. You TV, don't get to do TV. that. With, with a fine woman walk by, I got to look. I feel you. I feel you. That means you I are weak look. in your... That, listen, you are weak in your sexuality. Y'all call it weak. I call it... it no, there's... Nature. Bro, bro. There's a lot of temptations in life. Some you're weak to, some you're not. Like me, I'm weak to cupcakes. I can't say no to a good honey bun. That is a weakness. See, my problem with the new age world is we have to call it what it is, bro. It's a weakness. Right. It's weak. Yeah, it doesn't right. mean you are a weak man. It means there's a sector of life that a maxi dress can get you caught up. You like maxi dress. Like you, it just is what it is. This is what your thing. What you have to do now, what you have to do now is know that this is a weakness and particularly work on this weakness. That's all that means. And, and I've been working on it a lot, man. I've been working on it a lot, but like, I don't know, bro. It's just being monogamous and in a relationship. I don't know. I feel trapped, bro. Like, it ain't, I would be an ancient nigga. I take care of all my, I, I take care of all the bills, everything, bro. It's just right. being one woman, bro. I don't know. Something about that made me feel like I'm trapped, bro. You know, know the main why. the main reason why you can because right now is because of your hormones. That, okay, so is the reason why men be monogamous is because they uh testosterone goes down or they want to. That is a big factor, yes. Okay, so that means they just don't have the energy for it. I don't mean they don't want to do no, it. That, it's not energy. Testosterone is gonna fuck uh, the hormones are gonna fuck with your desire. Right now, you are compromised. Oh, you ever see the old dudes that be in the movies and they, they'll have like a fucking uh, like a coin collection or some shit and yeah. they'll just be old dudes what it is when your testosterone goes down you have more time to think about things you want to get done other than sex this is going to leave matter of fact you're about to have a big testosterone jump in the next three years you're going to be t- once you hit 29 your testosterone yeah. is going to drop yeah. and you're not going to let me tell you something bro and this is going to sound crazy but to hear me out you're going to be less interested in sex. I'm less interested now. I, I'm less, and I don't know, bro. I'm less interested now. And like, bro, like, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do none of that stuff, bro. Like, what the fuck you talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm already on that stuff, bro. Like, I but, listen to everything. You know what I'm so let me explain this to you from a strategic I guess I ain't shit. I'm a, no, you think that you ain't shit. I don't apply a morality to it. The only morality problem is if you're in a committed relationship and you're lying about what you're doing, then it's a morality problem. But you're single right now. Yeah, I get that. You're yeah, single. I'm trying to get my girl back. I'm trying to get my girl back right now, but I understand. I but that. this is this is the problem. When your testosterone drops and your chemistry in your brain changes a little bit, you're gonna have different priorities. Look at it from a strategic standpoint. Your sexuality is a security risk. It is what it is, bro. That is how people extract money out of men. That's how we litigate towards men. Because if you do something wrong with your sexuality and hit the right, the wrong vagina, they can pull money out of you. You may get someone pregnant. They can pull money out of you. But they your wife can do that too. Th- yeah, that, that true. That's still a security risk. But what I'm telling your you, your wife can make you go broke just as much as the size. This is the problem with people your age. You have a problem with comprehension. I'm trying to tell you something, and you can't get it. Listen to what I'm saying. If your wife could do that to you too, how do you think it's better to multiply the security risk by another woman? That means you would only deal with one woman if you felt that way, because I don't need to have five security risks. Right? 
I mean, yeah, I can't argue that. Yeah, that's funny, bro. But that maxi dress with the white toes walking down the street, you can't seem to say no to this shit. That's a weakness, my nigga. It's a weakness. No, I say no every day. It's just, I want to try. I want to try. And Yo. <laughs> come on, TV, bro. Uh, how long you How long you been married? I've been married now six years. All right, so do you think you can go another 26? I think I can go another 50. With just her? With just her. Oh, man. All right. Hey, let, let, me tell you you. Some, let me tell you some shit. At this point where I sit right now, I desire no other woman. Yeah. If let me tell you something, if Rihanna came in here, butt ass naked, I wouldn't hit it. Yeah, I would tell I, I would tell her to leave. Get out of here. I mean, I mean, but you didn't even work for it. You want something you can work for anyway. No, no, it has nothing to do with it. I have I I am in a complete understanding that I am where I'm supposed to be. I don't desire yeah. other women. I don't look for other women. When I see them, I can tell that looks good, but it's not something I want to have sex with. No, I want to have sex with my old lady and my old lady only. I'm right. good, bro. Right. Now, listen, when I was 26, I was running around. I, I talked to a couple chicks. That's true. But I also at 20 uh, at, at 28, I went celibate for two years and didn't have sex with nobody. Right. We, why did I do that? Because it was an act and an experiment on my willpower. That's why yeah. I can say that was a, I had a weakness. That's a weakness, bro. If it hurts you, which sex with multiple people hurts you, it's it a weakness. You have to stop it doing do. it eventually. It do. I mean, look, it's bad size for everybody. Having sex with multiple women, it, it do mess your mind up, but sometimes they got men who've been married for 20 years and their wife don't give them sex. So, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you got to pick your poison sometimes. Ain't no poison you know picking. <laughs> and look, Listen, women, if, women want new dick sometimes, too, bro. It ain't just us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what, what you're you not know, understanding don't be is... Like, don't be like men is the dog. They got women out here cheating every day. But see, but see if a men do not discuss what women do because we control men, what do I give a shit about what hoes do? See, in my era, hoes didn't get any conversation. In y'all era, that's all y'all talk about. I ain't saying hoes. I'm talking about wives. Wives, wives I don't have, who do the boxing dude, stuff. I don't have multiple wives. That's not my interest. I have one. Okay? The only person we care about who's on the phone with us right now is Newski. What you're worrying about is what is a liability to Newski. What wives are doing in their person, that ain't your business. What do you right. do that affects you? And what you do is when you hit a chick, you open yourself up for security risk and liability. That's it. That's how it goes. When you get to court, they don't give a shit what a wife does because we know they went in court, right? Yeah. You got to worry about you, my brother, and your actions. So if your girl or wife cheats on you, what state do you live in, Georgia? Texas. Texas. You live in Texas. If your wife cheats on you, it cuts what she gets from you by 75% in the state of Texas because you can prove she cheated. You need to understand what helps yeah, you. I know that. I know. Yeah. So who cheated yeah. factors in in court. So you're supposed to be trying to keep your shit to yourself. So when you get there and you put your pamphlet down, I'm clean, Your Honor. I don't have sex with a lot of women. I don't, and then you'll say shit like this. She abandoned the marriage. That means that drops what she can get from you. She brought other men into the so-and-so. That drops what she can get from you. She had this man around my kids. That drops her being able to get sole custody. See, you got to know that shit. Fuck what bitches is doing. That's what I'm trying to explain. Before you make a move, you have to think, how does this hurt me? If she fuck her shit up, that's her. So we're going to focus on what news is going to get done. News is going to save his money. News is going to learn how to not be swayed by hot buns in the street. News is going to figure out what to do next with his career. News is going to make sure his credit is in correct order. News is going to make sure his taxes are in correct order. So when let's say you're old, you're, you get rid of your baby mama, you stop messing with her and you get in front of a full fledged grown woman with her own place, her own degree, her own money, her own credit, 
are you presenting to her a dude with multiple baby mamas and a sexual problem? Are you going to be presented to her as somebody that is comparable? That's the question. Because if she comes to you and you say everybody cheats, what the fuck is that, bro? That's not a <laughs> that's not a true statement. She's gonna be like, why do you think that? Come on, bro. You there's women out there that may like Newski that is oh. going that's going to be a, a, a freaking litigant. That's gonna be a Supreme Court judge, and you can freaking turn her off because you believe all women ain't shit and they cheat. I offer more than money, but like. I give my life to a woman. I give my, I, I go cheat and come home and somebody break in the house. I give my life and die. That's irrelevant. I, That's an irrelevant no, statement. No, it do. That's an irrelevant statement. It do matter because like, I would really die for my family. See, Even though I don't. cheated, bro, it I, don't I, matter. I would really die for them though. Newski. That's irrelevant. That don't matter. That has nothing. One thing has nothing to do with the other. I think it do. You think it do because it serves your point, but I'm telling you, it doesn't. I know. No. Like I explained to my baby mom, I'm like, all right, I got home cheating, but what is my breaking house and I die protecting me? Was I loyal or not? She be like, oh, oh yeah, I was. I, what I'm saying, they be like, no, because you were cheating. Like, I'm saying, hey, man. bro, you are open your old lady. Let me tell you why that doesn't matter because you'll die for her if someone breaks in the house, but you're also exposing her to HIV. Come on, man. That's the truth. Dusky, what do you call no. it? It's the truth. Why do we have to go to the worst extremist stuff? You went to somebody breaking in and murdering you. I'm That's not extreme. That Every is time I'm out with my woman. Extreme. Every time I'm out with my woman, I would die for her. Bro, you're you're not comprehending again. How can you tell her? Way. How can you tell her you will die for her, but you're having sex with unsanctioned pussy that can kill you and her? It ain't on sex, bro. I don't have sex with prostitutes. Bro, it's unsanctioned I'm, if it ain't your old lady, bro. I'm safe about what I do. You're not safe if you're having sex with someone other than your old lady. That's not safe. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What you're doing is you're twisting words to match your narrative. That's not how life works. If you have a woman you're supposed to be with, you're not supposed to be having sex with nobody else. I uh, yeah, that sounds good. But people don't do it. But like, I what do people got to do with Newski? What you tell granddad who had. Oh my God! A fan across the town. Yeah, well, what well, you tell him? Granddad had multiple mamas, but he's a great man. He's a never, good man. never. My granddad was not a great man. My granddad was a pedophile. Man, chill. And, no, I'm gonna tell you the truth. My granddad knocked my grandmother up when she was 16, and he was 60. He was a sick bastard. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. 16, bro. She can have a baby. Though. Yeah, that, that, a twelve-year-old can have a baby. So you saying you do a twelve-year-old? Oh, hey, come on, man! Don't, don't do I'm that. Following I'm saying, your logic, Newski. We're following your logic. No, but what I'm saying is, God made it to where whenever a woman can produce a period, she can have right. a baby. It That's eleven, twelve years old. And the law doesn't make it right, though. Because <laughs> so you're and, you're making a case for screwing a twelve-year-old. That's what you're doing. No, no, you said sixteen. I'm talking about sixteen, and some say sixteen is illegal. True. So. True. I the pedophile, probably last thing, but not this thing. You know right. So like, you call it whatever you want to call it. You had sex with a 16 year old and you're 60. You're a pedophile. That's disgusting. I, mean, I guess, bro. I guess, bro. Ain't no guessing, nigga. Guess. It is what it is, bro. It's what it is. See, my bro, pedophile is people who like children. A fucking 16 year old is then a grown. A 16 year old grown. can't buy cigarettes or vote. She's a child. See, man, we're going back to the laws, bro. The laws don't make a law, right? nigga. They are, dude, you're not even, your, your frontal lobe is not even developing until you're in your 20s. She's 16. She's a child, bro. That's a kid. All right. All right. How old was your granddad when he had um, the baby? He was 60. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait, I mean, wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah, man, yeah. context matters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here goes I the truth. It, it, it don't. If you're if you're if you're humping a 16 year old and you're an adult, you're getting a charge most of the time. But here's my problem. Here's my problem with this. You most of y'all want to twist words to match what you think it should be. Here's the flat out rule. When you have sex with a woman, you open yourself up to litigation, liability and security risk. There's no way to talk your way out of that. You also open yourself up to dying because pussy can kill you. Last thing, TV. 
Anthony. All right. Oh, all you want to all, all you want to address the fact that plenty of men waste like a lot of money and they fuck up their lives getting married to the wrong woman. No, because I don't give a fuck about plenty of men. That that has nothing to do with you. Uh, bro, getting married to the wrong woman can fuck your life up more than fucking with old, man. Bullshit. Yes, Bullshit. Yes. Bullshit. Plenty, plenty Bullshit. men go broke with divorce. Bullshit. They go broke with child support. Bro, they go bro. broke. Their women men, do have, their name. men do have problems with child support, usually are not married, and it's by multiple women. That's not a married man problem. That's a single man problem. So basically, there's no dark side to getting married. It's just all good. No, there's a dark side to waking up in the morning. Some people die when they have a bowel movement in the morning. Some people die walking down the steps. That does not fix your problem. That doesn't fix your point. That's the thing I want to say. Y'all only say the good stuff about marriage. I don't hear nobody talking about the real life. Oh, it, it, it got tough for five years. And there's 5,000 I mean, po- 5, podcasts that talk about women being shitty. That makes no sense. That statement is untrue. Well, I don't get into the woman and the men beats, bro. Like, I think we both do wrong. Yeah, we both do wrong, but what does that have to do with you? That's what I'm saying. That's if not I what you're saying, bro. Newski, Mary- what you're trying to do, listen to me. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to say, I do this, but it ain't really that bad because everybody cheat. That's what you're doing. That's childish, bro. That's not taking responsibility for your actions. So, like, you don't believe in nature? I believe in nature, yeah. Okay, so why can a man have as much babies as he, as he can and a woman can mm-hmm. have one a year? Hey, man, I don't know. Can you please tell me on why it's like that? I, I, I don't understand why that is, and I don't understand in what context does that have to do with your actions. I'm saying I can have sex and have babies every right. damn day if I want to. Mm-hmm. I can you can have one. You could also smoke crack every day. Come on, man, bro. Like, right? just that fact that I said about. I, I hear what I, you're I saying, and I'm, 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 I'm putting you up with the fact that you could also smoke crack, you could also do fentanyl, you can also do heroin. You're not doing none of those, though. Man, Which bro. means what? You have the, you have the. You, see, when you bring up nature, most most animals don't know they're alive. You have what they call sentience. You know you're alive, right? Yeah. You know what hurts you. So why aren't you taking fentanyl? Why don't you take heroin? Oh man, that's stupid, bro. No, what you, having sex with multiple women and but open yourself to litigation is stupid. So is fentanyl. What's the difference? Why don't you just take fentanyl and get it done quick? But look, but look, I'm talking about since the beginning of time. Bro. I'm talking the U.S. ain't been around long, bro. You know what I'm saying I'm right. talking about thousands and thousands of years. Men been right. having multiple women. I'm not talking about just the U.S. Okay, but you I'm don't have multiple ben. women. They had multiple women that they took care of. You're not in a position to take care of multiple women. I never said I was. Yeah, but why are you having sex with multiple women then? Because <laughs> they're giving me. <laughs> See, there you go. Your, your argument falls apart. You're not taking responsibility for these women you're having sex with. And I'm trying to get my money up so I can do that. So you can have multiple women to take your money. No, they ain't gonna take my money. I don't mess with chicken heads. I don't mess with chicken Bro, heads. you do mess with chicken heads. If, if a lady's dealing with you and you're allowed to have multiple women, she's a chicken head, bro. I just said she left me. Who left you? My, the girl who has my baby. Okay. And she puts you she she puts you in a position to have to pay child support. You had to pay her child support. I mean, like, not through the courts, like we have an agreement. Yeah, you're just taking care of your responsibility. I mean, yeah. That's my you, son, like. right? Right, and you think it's smart to have sex with other women and possibly have more kids and have to send them money? Man, bro, look, look, the black population is going real under, bro. We need more kids. Bro, that has yeah. nothing to do with what we're talking about. It does. It does. No, it doesn't. It no, does. you have it look, Nuski, You have to understand that you just made a statement that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I asked you a direct question. You I'm think saying. it's okay? You think it's okay to have sex with multiple women and have to pay them too? That's okay. Okay, and if you can have sex with your wife, and bro, like, right, either way, right. either way, you're gonna pay, bro. I, I you hear gonna you. Pay with your wife, or you gonna pay with a side piece? Right, right. So, it, bro. Either way, it costs. This is basic multiplication. Am okay, I in a so, better? Listen, am I in a better situation paying one woman, or am I in a better situation paying three women? That's case by case. <laughs> you niggas get on my fucking nerve. Listen, news. No, I gotta it, move it, on, it, bro. It, it, I got to move on, doggy. I can't sit here right here with you. 
I can't. Now, I want you to listen back at this video. I want you to send this portion of the video to your father and see what he has to say. I got to let you go. We'll do it again next week, okay? We'll do it again next week. And this is my problem with young people. I, man. It's it, hard. It's hard. I, and what, what makes it so bad is I be getting lumped in with, with this mentality. I'm I'm so... I'm not saying I'm better, but I just... I've been through it already. I think differently now. It didn't take me long to figure it out. It The problem with young people is this. <sighs> they believe that they are good conversationalists and they're terrible at it. It is it's terrible. You cannot tell me <sighs> that you believe what you're saying. What you're really doing is you're flipping your words to never lose a never lose a debate, but you're not making sense. I've never seen someone duck accountability so hard. Oh, I've seen it a hundred times. Like, it's just, listen, and mind, mind you, I had to learn this too, but it, the, the hardest thing for people my age and people of the, the mid to late nineties is to accept their accountability and accept that they be on bullshit. Because like you said, people will, will bend these nuances and these points to fit their narrative, to justify the shit that they be on when it, at the end of the day, it's all bullshit. It's You're all lying bullshit. to yourself. It does not help your life. It does not benefit you. You are putting yourself at risk. You're creating unnecessary drama, problems, and stress. This is why people be dying at 40, because you've been stressed out for 30 years for shit right. that you could have avoided in the first place. Right. Because the truth is, you're supposed to stay with your baby mama. That's it. You're supposed to stay with your baby mama and not cheat. RN, look up what RN's uh, a top RN makes. Oh, I major city. my my sister is actually studying that right now. Yeah. Look up a top RN. What is she making a major okay. city? Okay, let's see. RN top income. Oh, okay. So we can just go down the list. So top ten paying nurse jobs, CRNA. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Wow, I mm -hmm. that number just made me uncomfortable. Yeah, give me the number. Ooh, CRNA makes two hundred fourteen thousand dollars a year. So what Newski did, because he's still watching, Newski is with a woman, and five six years is going to be making one thirty, and ten she's going to be making two twenty. Yeah, he left her for butt cheeks. Because it looked good and he believed men shouldn't be monogamous. Yeah. And even at entry level, they're coming in at 70,000. This is what you need to do, Newski. You need to show her this video. You need to go back to her. You need to say sorry. You need to make nice and you need to get back with your baby mom. Because you left a winner. You left a winner for sex. And you're not going to tell me that's not a weakness. That's a weakness, bro. And then 10 years from now, you're going to be like, oh, these chicks don't want no money. Your chick's on a path to $220,000 a year. In a field where they have basically no one to refill. Like, it is so needed. Oh, absolutely. And even if she doesn't hit the top scale, she's still clearing 100. She's so still at 110, 120. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. And all you had to do was do the right fucking thing. And you couldn't let go of the butt cheeks. 200, let me tell you something. You're not going to make more money than her no. for the CDL. Because un unlike our field, as her tenure increases, so will her money. So will her money. So, and, and the truth is, she don't have to pay for fuel to get that money. Yeah, That's, that's W2 off the deck. That's, Bam, that's to, the, to, the, to the house. To the house. <laughs> And you left that for sex, man. And but I'm the simp. Jeez, <laughs> you gave up two hundred and twenty thousand dollars for vagina. But I'm a simp, though. Right. Wow. And the fact that he can't believe that men can actually be monogamous for multiple decades is it's crazy. insanity. He says, "I'm, I'm gonna get my baby mama back." TB, I'm gonna make it right. Your best shit. You better. I, I, yeah. You better. Yeah. You better. You need to show her this video. You need to go. You need to go back and say, I am talking to dudes that are older than me. I'm following a better path and I'm going to try to make this right. She wants to be with the father of her child.
but you can't seem to get your shit together because you're watch, sitting up watching Sigma MGTOW bullshit telling you about what shit was 200,000 years ago before the wheel was made. That's nothing to do with your life now. You you a good one. Why I go home, slobbed her ass up. Poor I buddy. put another one in a bah! Man, Fuck buddy. you mean? You mad forever. To my playing characters, I'm walking in the house right. with a mask on. Right. I'm talking about let's play cops and robbers. Right. <laughs> all type of weird, freaky shit. <laughs> Whips, yeah. chains, handcuffs, all of that. Yeah. If you were smart, <laughs> if you were smart, you would go get a hazmat haul fuel right next to the house if you knew better. Yeah. But you don't. Home. You don't. Tagging butt three times a week, and you letting her just walk around. And you got her at 60 grand. Oh, man, you could plant the seed and ride off to a 30-year, $200,000 a year situation. But you too fucking hard-headed. And with, and, good, and with good retirement investment, and right. I'm not talking about buying investment, I'm talking about paying retirement through your career. Whole healthcare is free. Yeah. Healthcare right. is Otherwise, free. putting into a 401k, you can retire a millionaire if you lock in for 30 years. Healthcare is free at the hospital. You just yeah. get the shit. You could probably ride on her insurance. Oh my God, man. And be getting the top dollar, top doctor, like you know what's real funny? public health. You yeah. know what's real funny is that he says, Oh, well, you know, you could you could get with this chick and uh and she could take all your money. Nigga, you're gonna be the one getting alimony if you divorce this girl. That's a fact. That you lose nothing. She's the Listen. one that's in liability because you're never gonna make as much as her. Listen, Kendrick Lamar made an entire album about it. That you know, morale and the big steppers. That was about his lust addiction, mm. and how he had to redeem himself. And even to this day, I still don't think his woman trusts him all the way. And they got multiple children together, and I think they're married. But point being, Nisky, point I'm, being, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Go home. <laughs> yeah. Go home. Say sorry. Go find a ring, and tell her you're gonna make it right because you're fucking up. You're fucking up big. You you going you gonna come out here and you know what kind of bullshit you gotta go through to see two hundred thousand dollars to your account and trucking? Shit, bro. Oh you're tripping. God. And, all, and, and, all, and, all, and you can marry this girl and be living on a two hundred thousand dollar lifestyle plus you making a hundred off the fuel hauling. Y'all be making three hundred thousand dollars a year. Living the dream, bro. And if you live modest, oh my God, you can have Man. an unlimited lifestyle. If you, I'm talking about, if you, I mean, mind you, I don't know what your living situation is now, but if if it is a little outlandish, if you cut your bill, you already said you got rid of your apartment, so y'all can stay together wherever she's staying at. Right. You only visit there once in a while. Right. Okay. Buzz down on the money and just. <sighs> God, man, it'd be them niggas in a good. What I would, what I bullshit. would give to have a reliable partner like that. Nigga, still gonna I steal your old lady, man. He gonna steal oh, your baby mama. Nigga, I, I, I <laughs> oh, I could, oh, I could tell you where to put this money, baby. We could, oh my God, we going to Paris, we going to Australia, yeah. we going to the hideaway spots here in America that I ain't gonna name, but if mm. you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's places y'all ain't heard of, even in this country. Oh, this fool boy. said he, feel, he feels trapped. And his baby mama on the path to make two hundred thousand. You know what I have to say, and I'm glad you brought that back up. You know what I have to say about people that say they feel like being trapped. You just don't like her, bro. Just mm. tell the truth. You're not trapped. You just don't like her for real. And you need to figure out why you don't, because clearly, based on what you're saying, she's a good woman, or she's she's solid enough. Nobody's perfect. I'm not saying she doesn't have her her qualms and issues, but clearly, she's a, a decent woman. You had a kid with her for crying out loud. You need to figure out why you don't like her, and if you can get over that. And if you can't get over that, leave her alone. Raise your children and leave her alone. Bro, as simple as this. You're going to be sad in 10 years. <laughs> when, you, when you have to go pick your kid up and you pull into that southern gated community, oh, you're going to be mad for three years. And you just, I mean, it, it's... The security, it might be the security guard got to let you in. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem. The most of y'all on here talking this Superman rhetoric, you fuckers are in oh, that wait, situation, wait, bro. Wait, 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 wait. He said she's making $9,000. I don't think it's... You bullshitting. See, that's you believing what he says. I don't I do not do that with him. Because okay, he can say enough. anything for a rise out of somebody. What I'm saying right. is this. You need to go home. Cancel all of your websites with Chasing Pussy. You need to go home and figure out how to be monogamous ASAP. Yeah. That's what you need to be doing. And you need to stay with her even if her booty spread. 
You need to be. Hey, you, ain't nothing wrong with a little wide butt. <laughs> you need to be. You need to be walking her fat ass in the IHOP, baby, listen, all the way. Listen. And you worrying about what other niggas is doing and bitches in the street. You tripping. These bitches don't even know how to read. <laughs> You're you not lying. Read, they can fucking. They can't fucking spell. Read. Can't read. Oh. oh. That's crazy. Insane. Brother. I'm. Brother, we gonna end please. live on that. Yeah. Cause we got shit to do. We sure do. And we probably gonna be stepping today. Oh yeah, gotta get it in uh, on the uh, way to fly. Uh, uh, stepping channel. We're gonna be stepping on there, and we ain't got time up here fighting with Newski, who's living the fucking dream. It's always you lucky some bitches, but all oh, y'all make me so angry, bro. Man, you make bro. me so angry. I, I didn't mean to go off. I'm, I'm sorry for my outburst. I got beside myself today. Still gonna get you, baby mama. He gonna mm-hmm. find it all. Listen. <laughs> and he ain't gonna be caking. Let me tell you what he's gonna be caking. That's a whole different conversation. What? As as DC Young Fly said, if I get another partner, oh, I know what to do with it. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is link is at the bottom on rumble tv uncut so i appreciate y'all love the support if you like the content man hit the buttons let me know thanks for coming to the patreon